effects as this game goes along for what could happen to Colorado College and UMass. But for now, sit back and enjoy as these two outstanding programs square off for the right to be called champions. It is Omaha, the five seed in the dark. It's about it. Everybody's struggling against the Pioneers. That's, th this is memory. <laughs> not exactly breaking news. The people <laughs> have had a tough time against this team as Booyam skates in, looks for the wraparounds. Couldn't quite get the backhander goal words as Lacozzi's quick to cover. The second round draft pick. And Jared Wright, who's a fifth round pick and can absolutely fly. If that's your third line, you're in pretty good shape. Proctor's shot deflected and banged home. It is Brock Bremer again. His fourth goal of the postseason. Bremer with a huge goal. What we talk about is a key for Omaha. Pound ground and all around. And there's the Omaha ground game going to work. And Bremer wide open. To jar a puck loose, throw a puck to the front of the net, it bounces around, Davis can't find it. In the open, the one thing that we said about Omaha that is a huge defining characteristic is how well they invest in hard. King now the one-timer just wide. Thompson able to track this down. Denver on the attack, looking to pull level. Barron's one-timer just missing the far post. Brilliant thought by Barron's to go across the green. Here is the bump. Back up to Victor Mancini. They try to give and go that time, and it creates the opportunity for the Pios. Matica springing Webster, the captain, driving in, and finds the back of the net! McCain Webster! Second goal in his many! The Omaha Blue Line with a short pass to Mancini. It was a little bit of a give and go, but the pass was in Mancini's feet. And then Denver took advantage of it. And they managed to sneak one. Mancini tracked back pretty well, but it all started with a pass into the skates of a big player. And sometimes when you do that, it's really hard to recover. Simple, like that's a play where slipping, throw the puck to the front of the net and let the Cavalry go charge. Don't throw it backwards and allow Denver to feed into their speed. McCain Webster, a seeing eye shot from the half boards. Going back to my point, don't allow another team to create offense. So when Omaha attacked the zone a second ago, they tried to drop pass and a long one, and Denver was able to turn it over. They never gave the puck back, and Webster, with a seeing eye puck, throws it to the front of the net and gets one. Buckberger pulls up, managed to put the puck back. The coverage here is pretty good. This thing just found an opening and got in. Sullivan, the Eden Prairie native who made it to the state championships a couple of times in his high school career. Got second place, third place, fourth place, but never won a state title on this ice. Good save. By He's puck down low, poked aside by Devine, who has a five-point game on his CV against Omaha this year. Tanner Lutke now, rebound there. Mueller just missing the target. Second chance now. Tanner Lutke still on it. He will fire. Thompson that time, a ringing one-timer. Webster in front. He could see the whites of Latkozy's eyes, and the sophomore makes the save. He was almost too open. Barron's now just missing. Denver really. I see Yellow Jackets. That was one banged-up team that made a really impressive run through the Atlantic playoffs. Here's a loose puck now, picked up by Lansdale. Skating in. The rebound there. Davis able to cover in the ends. A lot of black jerseys swore and stopped by Lacozzi. Rebound kicked aside in the ends. And now Lutke can carry it away. Short-handed. Tanner Lutke, the freshman, driving in. Tied up well by Carter King. Lutke a little slow getting up now behind the play. Bros on the boards. Up to Z. Booyam. Shy now. Thought about the backhander. The wraparound stopped in front. It was on the crease for a moment. Davis off. Devine, six on five for the nine time national champs. Devine the lead. Manica! Nothing that Cozy can do about it. Miko Manica's third. And the kick in the shorts is Omaha's going to have to serve the penalty. What a rush by Denver. A little drop pass, another little drop pass. And Manica, who's delivering the net, is as good as anybody's. Once again. Z. Bouillon leads the rush. Devine draws some coverage. Madigan comes late. He's calling for the puck. You can hear it from us. Now Sullivan out of the box. 
They were just coincidental penalties, so it's five on five right now. Right, throwing one in front. The Rams, they're defending it home. You got to give Denver all the credit in the world. They won this game by how well they defended, and they managed to score a couple of timely goals, and Lorenz steps in and pops a quick pass to the front of the net. Pass like Coetzee, who has been good tonight, and that puck just dribbles over the goal line. Lorenz gets just enough of it. But it will be the Denver Pioneers for the third time, champions of the NCHC Frozen Faceoff. DU on top of the mountain once again in 2024. Congratulations to...